So, you want to make custom animations for Sonic Generations and have the footsteps work. I'm here to show you that right now, but first, tool list. You're going to need a program that supports exporting an armature and, um, and meshes into an FBX file and, of course, um, bake in the animation too. I typically just use Blender. You're also going to need a wickedly old version of 3DS Max. 3DS Max 2013 should suffice, but I have 2011. And also, you're going to need a plugin for 3D, a plugin for 3DS Max called Havoc Content Tools. It's content tools for stuff pertaining around the Havoc engine. Sweet stuff. Like Sonic Generations Armature and Animation System. Let's get to doing this stuff now. So, I already have an animation for uh, Sonic here. It's uh, it's just an edited version of a of his animation from Unleashed, which I retargeted to the Generation Skeleton. This is literally the entire point of me trying to learn how to do custom animations for Generations, just so that I can do this. Anyways, so um. Before you actually uh, export anything via Blender, which is what I'm going to use here, you need to make sure that your unit system is set to Imperial, length is set to Feet, There's the scaling for the armature is set to 1, and your rotation on the x-axis is set to nil, or 0, zilch, nano, whatever. Great. Now, export parameters. If you want to do an export, just go up to Blender here, go to the file, export FBX, because that's what you'll need. Anyways, you are going to need to uh, make sure your object types are limited to armature and mesh, because um, that's all you need. You need to set your scale to 0.025. I'm just making sure that we change that, okay? Just redo that. Right. So make sure that you're in your armature settings. You do not add leaf bones because that'll just cause a mess. And then set your uh, yep big animation, and that's pretty much it. It's, you're good. So now you export your FBX. After it's exported, you load up 3ds Max. Now you go up here and then import the FPX that we just em exported from Blender. And then, uh, I believe it's um. There we go. Now, if you have the action editor open in Blender somewhere, you need to make sure that you select. Uh, okay, so um, within. When you import something into the into 3ds max you have to um, you have to you have to go through this um, plugin thing and uh, you need to make sure that under animations you select the right animation take which is actually just a blender action but mean ooh fancy it's like these are three animations that I have here like they're kind of different but not really especially like these two but uh, yeah, we need to make sure that we select the one that matches this name here. And uh, I believe we're good for that. Make sure that your um, units, file units, are converted to B. And then click OK. Just wait a bit here. And. Um, Okay, so for the rest of the things you're going to need, you're going to need, oh, sorry for the decision there. Um, you're going to need the Hedge Mod Manager to load in your mods. You're going to, uh, if, you, if you'll let me uh, navigate in the taskbar here, you're going to need a CPK browser or some form of program that allows you to uh, get the contents of a CPK. And then over here, we, uh, we just need a Sonic, uh, 
you'll just need uh, you'll need the Generations Archive Editor in order to um, edit these files here, which will be um, which are the stuff that contains everything for the mod and Sonic's upside down. Down, oops. So um, if he ever ends up like that, you need to make sure that he's facing directly upwards. So um, yeah, just uh, yeah. Sometimes you trial and error really is your friend. So we're just gonna and import it to your file. You need to make sure that he's actually facing upwards because um, maybe I accidentally did some weird stuff with the importing of the file. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I just, all I do know is that he has to be facing upwards in 3ds Max. And there we go. So now, the most important thing if you want Sonic's animation to play correctly is you need to go here, down here, to the time configuration setting. Next, you need to change the frame rate, which is up here, change the select custom, and then change the frames per second to 60. After that, we need, you need to rescale time to fit the new frame rate. It's The animation is actually about 81, 81 frames long, so you need to set the length to 80 here. It's 81 frames long, goes from 0 to 80. Then click OK. Uh, and then click OK. Should just work like that. Now you need to go to have a content tools. Looks like this pop up will automatically launch if you have Havoc Content Tools 2012 already loaded in. Now, uh, yeah, this should just work after you install it and it's included plugin for 3ds Max. Then you just click Export. It might take a while for it to load, so I will see you when it is loaded. Okay, now that it is loaded, we are going to go up here to load our configuration to make animations for generations. So go up here to file, load configuration set. If you already have Skype, if you have Skype tools, it actually comes with this preset here, animation export. So you just double click that, it was already loaded in, but I just wanted to show anyway. It will show, do all this, and then just click run configuration. There we go, the animation has been converted to a Havoc-like thing for generations to chew on. Now the last thing we need to do is to rename the animation to what we want. So that's the right one. In this case it's the jetting animation, which is the fastest-ish animation before Sonic goes into the boost, like it's the final animation that plays during his during his ramping up of speed whatevers. Then um, I already have the archive op open, but you just need to uh, you just need to open, go right click, open with, and uh, gener generations archive editor, and then just do and then just open through that. Then you drag and drop, file, save, okay, and yes, and. There we have it! We should have the custom animation working. So, um, yeah, let's just see it in the game now. Sega. I have modified Sonic's uh, sound files so that it uh, comes, so then he can actually hear his footsteps better. But overall, I mean, just I mean, just take a listen. It totally works. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, so that's pretty much what you have to do if you want to do custom animations for Sonic Generations and have them not totally broken, so yeah.
バイ。